Hey everyone, in this video we are going to quickly find the exact value of sine 5 pi over 3. As these examples pro progress, there's a, about a dozen of these in this particular um, set right here. I'm going to get more and more detailed, so you may choose to fast forward a little bit, play it faster if you're feeling good, and you may choose to listen carefully if you are a little confused and feeling weak. Um, I will try to switch up the explanation style and detail and approach and, and tips in every single video so you could get a little something different from every single one. So to get this one started, we have the sine of five pi over three, sine y value on the unit circle, gotta know where five pi over three terminates on the unit circle, one pi over three, tall and skinny like a tree, two pi over three, three pi over three is pi, four pi over three is more than three pi over three, so it's beyond pi, five pi over three, and then six pi over three would be two pi, so I know I'm doing pretty well right now. Five pi over three, we said, is going to be right over here. This is in quadrant I, V, four, Roman numeral four. Our reference triangle, which is a necessary understanding, this is what you refer to, has, if we start at the origin, a pathway of to the right a little, one half positive if it's to the right, and then down a lot, negative root three over two. That means the orders pair, ordered pair that corresponds to that point where the terminal side of an angle intersects the unit circle will be an ordered pair of one half negative root three over two, and hopefully we all know that the sign is corresponding to the y value. That means that in conclusion, the sign of five pi over three is negative root three over two. Negative for sine is always in these bottom two quadrants, quadrants three and four. Positive is up in quadrants one and two, as it is the same for cosecant. They are reciprocal, signs don't change just because you're reciprocal. You're, you're, your numerator and denominator really just switch and you rationalize as necessary. If you have your own way of doing this, your own little trick, please put it in the comment section down below. People would appreciate it. If you are feeling fairly confident, like you don't need to rewatch this video, mark it with a thumbs up. If you're not feeling that confident and you might benefit from watching it again in the future if you stumble upon it for some odd reason, go ahead and give the video a thumbs down that tells you you needed to watch it again as your own little like study session uh, notes uh, for yourself reminders. Um, click through for the next example. There are a ton and as I said, I get more detailed with all of the examples and I hope you're feeling a little bit smarter, more confident at the end of this video. Adios.